Now remember the GPD Pocket has a little built-in microphone so you can use Cortana while you're doing your work. Hey Cortana, open up YouTube. Sure thing, starting YouTube. Hey Cortana, what is six foot in centimetres? Six feet is 182.88 centimetres. Hey Cortana, what's 756 divided by 44? The answer is approximately 17.18. There you go, so because of the built in microphone, you can use Cortana nice and easily. Although Cortana is not great, it can still come in handy for many things. Now because this is a Windows 10 device, we can easily install a DVD player onto it. So if you want to watch your old DVDs from years ago, then it's not a problem, you can do that. Now obviously, the disc won't fit into the GPD Pocket. The disc itself is roughly about the same height as the GPD Pocket itself. So you're going to have to get a portable DVD writer. I picked up this LG one for roughly around £20. You can get unbranded ones on eBay and Amazon for a lot less than that. Now Windows 10 doesn't actually come with a DVD player built into it, so they want you to download one from the Microsoft Store. You don't have to do that. All you need to do is download VLC. So that's V for Victor, L for Lima, C for Charlie, also known as Videolan. And it's a free thing and it works really well. So we've already downloaded that. Let's put in the disc. This one here is the Simpsons movie. So as you can see, play movie there. Obviously I can't actually play this due to copyrights, but let me just show you a, a little bit of it working. I go down to here. And if I make it big screen, there we go, and just take it off. Sir, you, you change your mind. It's on the there you go. Right, okay, and now let's say we want to watch it on the bigger screen and we also want the sound and everything to come through the bigger screen as well. I'm just plugging in a micro HDMI into the side of it there and if you have a look there now, it's come up on the big screen and if I take it off pause, the sound and everything is coming through here now. Now remember, the storage on the GPD Pocket is only 125 gigabytes. And out of that, you won't be able to use all 125 because the operating system is actually on it. So you're probably going to be left with round about 100 gigabytes to use, which sounds a lot, but you will start getting through that very quickly as you're using it day to day. But it's not like your Apple phone where you're stuck with it. Once you run out, it's not a problem. Just get yourself some external storage solutions. So you can get little USB versions here very cheaply from eBay and Amazon. This is an eight gigabyte one, which only cost a few pounds. But a longer term solution would be to get a decent external drive like this Seagate one. This is a one terabyte one, so that's a thousand gigabytes. And then you can install all your bigger files on here. So for example, if you're downloading lots of movies or if you've got a lot of big games on here, you can save it to this drive here. Obviously, you don't want to be carrying this around and the GPD Pocket because that ruins the portability of the GPD Pocket. But to have this at home, so when you're using it as a home desktop, this would be ideal. And then you can just use the internal storage as a kind of temporary storage for just doing things when you're out and about. And then when you come home, you can download it onto here. We can actually set up three screens with the GPD Pocket. So if you look here, I've got my little USB-C multi-port adapter. So with that one, we've got the black HDMI cable going over to this monitor over here. And then I've got the first screen here, and then I've got the micro HDMI to a full-size HDMI going into the TV up there. And if you have a look at the cursor, it will start off here, and then as I move it over, over this side here, it will end up on this screen here, can you see it there? And then as I move over this way, it will go to the third screen, which is the TV up here. So this is useful if, for whatever reason, you need to have three screens set up. So pretend now you were into your shares or your currency trading, you could have various different screens open with different currencies. So you could have your 
euro against a pound there, you could have your euro against a dollar there, and you could have up some other spread betting thing open here. Or, for example, if you wanted to be searching on maybe eBay, and for example, your emails, and then somebody else wanting to watch YouTube, you can do that here. So let's set that up now. So let's just open up the emails. Right, so pretend now this is your emails here and you're working off this one here and we want this one over here to be playing a video. So let me just scroll down to one of my videos. And let's make sure it's in 1080p as well. Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a PlayStation 4 controller working perfectly on the Nintendo Switch. So that means that motion control will work and also... Right, so that's in 1080p on the analog sticks. Make it now, full I did a screen. Video on this a little while ago, but at the time Okay, so the you can be playing the video there and as you can and see the sound is in full sync and that means with the motion. Just moved it a small little bit, it would go all and the way then on here I can be searching my it would go all the emails. Way so an example when you're playing Mario And then up Kart, here you can also be doing another page on your on eBay as well. Go all the way to the left and all the way to the right, even if you were just doing it at a time. It can handle three operations at once, which is pretty good. And now if you download now if we want to change the order of the screens we can do that because this is a Windows 10 device. So at the moment it was going from here, then onto here, and then when we move the mouse over it was going onto here. But let's say now if we want to go from here onto here and then onto here, well that's easy to do. All we've got to do is find an empty part of the screen and right click. And then that will bring up this menu here and we need to go down to where it says display settings. And we need to left click and then it will bring up this page here. Now at the moment, these are our screens here, one, two, and three, and if we were to go to where it says identify, and click, you can see one, two, and three, and when I move my mouse, like I showed you earlier, it goes from there onto here, and then we move it over, and it goes up to here. Now, all we've got to do is click and drag three over to here, and then it will go onto the big TV seconds. So if I left click and hold and move it over to here and then click apply what will happen is then I will go from here and when I move my mouse across it will then come up onto that screen there and then when I move it over it will go onto that screen there so nice and useful depending on what page you want open and depending on how you've got the TV set up so for example if you had monitors all the same size and they were next to each other I think it would be nice to go from one straight through to the last one. Doing work related tasks on the GPD Pocket is really good and it's much more usable than having to use your phone. So for example I went to Ibiza recently and on the plane I managed to edit the first half of this video on Movie Maker and there's no way I would have been able to do that on the phone. So on your phone, because you're carrying around a phone anyway, of course it's good for things like checking your emails and stuff like that. But when it comes to other work related tasks, for me a Windows 10 device will always win. And when you connect it up to your phone's hotspot, you can pretty much do anything you want to do at home on the GPD Pocket when you're away from home. And remember, you can use TeamViewer to access your home PC anyway. Yes, you can do that on your phone, but everything's so much easier when you've got a full keyboard here and when it's all set up as Windows 10. There doesn't seem to be any compromises. So I struggle to get work done on my phone, but with this, I don't struggle at all. Now the GPD Pocket allows you to wirelessly mirror your screen onto another device such as a newer TV or a Windows 10 desktop or laptop. The devices do have to have something like Miracast built into them to allow you to do this. But if it does, it's really easy to do. This is ideal if you want to share maybe a video clip or photos with a wider audience so you don't have to all cram around this small little screen, you can put it on the big screen. So all we have to do is go to this icon in the bottom right hand corner and we need to go to where it says connect and then it's going to bring up the devices that I can connect to so if you have a look there it says TV Samsung 6 series so I'm going to tap that and now it's going to come up on the screen up there the first time you do it you will have to allow it because obviously otherwise you could be connecting to a neighbor's TV and if you have a look there now can you see that it's completely mirrored whatever I've got on here 
up on the screen here. Now there is a very slight delay when you do this, so it's not gonna be ideal for stuff like gaming, but for sharing photos and video clips, it's perfect. So if I was to go to a photo down here, can you see now that whatever I've got on here mirrors up there. It's a pumpkin at Halloween. Yeah, so it's ideal if you want to share pictures. Let's also get a video clip. And all the sound will come through the TV up there. So there you go. You can see now whatever I've got on screen there is coming up on the TV. And there isn't cable broadband here. So they cut it up for a mobile broadband.